name is Alexandria Beeman, and this is my um, painting project over Dinner at West Hill by Howard Hodgkin. Howard Hodgkin was born in London. Um, he was born on August 6, 1932. Um, he did not exhibit his painting seriously until he was 30 years old. Um, that's according to BBC, which would have put him finally seriously exhibiting his paintings about uh, 1962, which is 10 or so years after he got done with art school. Um, according to the Museum of Modern Art, um, in 1949 he studied at Camberwell School of Art, and from 1950 and 1954 he studied at the Bath Academy of Art in Corsum, and in 1985, he actually won the Turner Prize. Um, the Turner Prize is considered the highest honor in the British art world, and I got that information from Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, I've never heard of the Turner Prize, but turns out they give one out every year um, since, I think, the 40s. The 40, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 40s. And in 1995, he was knighted, and that's according to BBC. This is the painting I chose. Um, it's called, again, Dinner at West Hill. Um, it's supposed to depict a dinner party in which Howard Hodgkins actually uh, went to. Um, it's dated 1964 to 1966. It's an oil painting on canvas. And the reason the dates are so apart, it's, I mean, it's two years, I'm sure. It's because it took so long, because it is oil paint, and oil paint takes so long to dry. And you can see the layers, like, back in the back, like, behind the dots, and, um, the other, the other, um, objects in the painting. Um, um, about, di about dinner in, at West Hill... Um, Howard Hodgkins actually wrote on May 8th, 1970, that dinner at West Hill is perhaps the most complicated and delicately balanced picture I have so far allowed myself. It commemorates a dinner party given by Bernard and Jeannie Cohen on March 15th, 1964. Most of the forms in the painting, which are not part of my normal language, derive, of course, from Bernard's pictures. In some cases, these even overlap his and my, um things that overlap were his and his forms. Uh, the painting is was very difficult to conclude as I had to contend with a nervous and glittering evening in a green and white room full of small Bernard Cohens on the wall, and Tony and Justicia Reinhardt, um, and also Bernard's pictures which were particularly undisciplined and diamantic at the moment, and of course finally the most difficult to contain all these things inside an object is formally and physically solid a table or a chair. I have gone nearer illusionistic space than at any, any other time. The white line in the picture plane, the edge of the table, also cuts the picture in two and shows therefore in two ways that everything is flat. The illusionism isn't a lie after all. I got that from um, Tate, from Tate in London. Um, the source is called the catalog entry. Um, this is actually a quote from the artist himself about that night and um, about other things in the picture. Um, Dinner at West Hill is actually at the Tate. It's in the Tate collection in London. Um, Tate is a museum in a way. Um, it's actually got four or five different... Um, it's actually got four or five different buildings, of course, they're all in different places. I'm I, The one that we're talking about is in London. I'm not sure where the other ones are. Um, the subject matter of the picture, like the blue dots, um, they represent people moving around and dancing. And um, the other forms um, in the picture actually represent, like I'm sure some of these, like this and like this, and probably this as well, um, there are some of Bernard Cohen's forms in his own paintings. And um, then this white line that goes across the picture, 
um, it it's the edge of the table and um, like I said you can just see like the detail in the picture like the blue dots are probably one of the last things to go on along with some of these um, forms right here but you know it had to take so much time because of all the colors underneath and you can see like right here you can't really see it right here on my computer but you can see like he used a brown to kind of shadow it a little bit um, and I got this information from BBC and then um, from the Museum of Modern Art again and then this is my work cited page and that concludes my painting um, oral presentation